Hey everyone, welcome to this Today we are going to be in Yuba. Yes, Yuba slash Yuba City, California, at a place called AJ's, taking on their giant burger challenge. So this consists of six of their different burgers, which are giant burgers, and they serve them on like this bun, this um, kind of like a Dutch crunch bread, which is apparently a really unique thing to the San Francisco area. This is again in the Sacramento area, but still very close. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of food. I'll give you kind of the exact details here momentarily. Um, but I know again, we're gonna have a variety of their different burgers. I believe even maybe some sandwiches as well. That's kind of what the place is known for fresh burgers, sandwiches, and they actually bake their bread periodically throughout the day. So that's pretty dang cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, I gave you the exact details and uh, I know we're in the quest for a free meal. The rest, we'll get you momentarily. I think a 30 minute time limit. Anyway, I'll let you know, let's go eat. All right around, so here we are with all of the burgers and sandwiches, looks super, super delicious. So I have some absolutely massive ones, some really unique sandwiches as well. This is all super, super cool. So these are like their main signatures, um, although they have a variety of other sandwiches and burgers as well. So in front of me, I have the triple dog dare you. So this one actually has triple cheese, three different kinds of cheeses, a whole bunch of fried chicken, double like order of fried chicken, a double order of pastrami as well. I do love pastrami, of course, all kinds of sauces, all the deliciousness. Here we have the rodeo, which is like pastrami, eggs and bacon, which eggs on a burger, guys, you cannot sleep on. One of my absolute favorites. Here we have the PL chatter. So this one might look a little, uh, might look a little different because it is. There's a whack of peanut butter on this. Peanut butter, honey. So that is definitely a sweet burger, but it looks delicious. Um, this one back here, we have the Pineapple Express. So grilled pineapple, jalapenos, um, their boss sauce. And then this one here, we have the put a pork in it. So we got bacon, we have pork, um, very soothingly so. A whole bunch of cheeses, a whole bunch of other sauces, eggs. Again, these things are giant, giant, giant. Lots of toppings, awesome. And last but not least, we have the Neapolitan. This one's a little bit more like an actual kind of sandwich. It's not like a, a burger per se, but we got turkey, we got pastrami, we got uh, some delicious looking eggs. We have some salami, a little bit of everything on there. So it looks very, very delicious. Like we said, lots of food. This is about nine pounds of sandwiches. He's all the way about a pound and a half and uh, a mere 30 minutes, guys. So hopefully we'll be able to complete it. And like I said, delicious looking, smells great. I'm super pumped. Um, this place is very well known in the area and uh, yeah, so one of the two locations I got one in Marysville. This is the Yuba City. So with that guys, how about we get started here just momentarily. I'm definitely excited. I haven't eaten all day and I'm pumped. This looks really, really good. Where to start? I'm probably gonna, I don't really know. Uh, maybe I'll start with the, hmm, I'll start with the pineapple maybe. The pineapple I think is a good place to start. I also have a whole bunch of while I do have ketchup, I do love my ketchup. I have their other sauces, uh, and a lot of them feature on here, like the boss sauce, the uh, GCM, which is like garlic, chipotle mayo, and their slurracha, slurracha guys, which is, ooh, or like rendition on a on their sriracha. So let's get a rock and roll and help me say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Whoa. Let us eat. Ooh, pineapple. I like this. And what's this bread again? Dutch crunch. Dutch crunch. This is a Bay Area thing. Mm. Hot damn. Guys, that is juicy. All right. Everybody, that is beautiful. And this bread. I've never had a Dutch crunch before. Mmm. Mmm. And the burgers cook perfectly. Mm. Wow. What kind of sauces are on this one? That one has uh, barbecue and a uh, broth sauce. The sauce is the boss after all. Mm. Wow. Grilled peppers and jalapenos. That's delicious, actually. Mm. Like, I'm impressed. 
Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at AJ's taking on an absolutely giant burger and kind of sandwich challenge. So we have over nine pounds, yes, over nine pounds of burgers and sandwiches in front of us. You know, like we said, ranging from toppings like peanut butter and honey to pastrami and fried chicken. I gotta say, this was absolutely delicious. These first couple bites, um, this burger with the pineapple was just to die for and everything looks so good. Seriously though, I know pineapple on pizza is a very controversial topic, but let me know your comments down below about pineapples on burgers. After tasting this, I'm on it. This is fantastic. Definitely a buy. Something which I can't believe is they, you know, cooked the bread throughout the day, which was so awesome. So I had fresh cooked Dutch crunch bread, which is actually, I think, my favorite bread of all time. Soft white bread, soft, salted, crispy crust. It was awesome. That's actually super delicious. It's really good. So this place is known not only for the burgers, but also their sandwiches. So like I said, I did have a little bit of both. Um, there was a few more burgers, I think four burgers, two sandwiches. Um, you know, the one being kind of like, uh, I mean, not cold cuts, but having, you know, like more like your ham, salami, pastrami, that kind of thing on it. That was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, I'll go for this rodeo next. Delicious, guys. I think we got more barbecue sauce on this. Definitely some cheese, some eggs. I love eggs on burgers. And these are huge. Absolutely giant, guys. That was a big bite. Man, I love that bread, though. It's like... Super soft and a nice crunch on it. All the sandwiches were hot, so whether it be like the burger or the other, um, you know, more sandwich variety, um, which I absolutely loved. I loved the warm sandwiches, like I said, with that warm, fresh bread. It was absolutely to die for. Really quality ingredients. Very big. Um, you can just tell, which, you know, makes a big difference. Really nice grill flavor on that burger. Put a little of this um, sriracha on it. I'm gonna try that. They also made all their sauces, which were just great. It's actually been a huge drop. But it's really rich, really nice flavor. But besides that, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Like we said, almost 10 pounds of food, 30 minutes, about $80 if we were to fail. There you go. Mm. I guess with the pastrami on that bite with that egg, that is a great flavor. But I have a question for you. Let me know if you'd prefer a burger or a fried chicken sandwich down below. All right, guys, we are five, about five minutes, probably 15 seconds in. Very good. Huge burgers, though. Very huge. Now this, the put a pork in it is probably one of the biggest sandwiches, guys. But this is massive. The weight on this, this is giant. This one, he says, over a pound and a half. Crazy how big this is. Woo! Let's get this done. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That was a hearty burger. Getting some really nice sweetness on that though. And really good tasting beef. And it's got that extra pork on it. Great flavor, nice and savory. Thought I could do it with my teeth. No, I can't. And like I said, you guys don't have to be dead quiet or anything, so. <laughs> Put a little bit on this uh, Chipotle mayo on it, give that a shot. Smoking. 
right, everybody, we're a bit over nine minutes in. Just like, wow, These huge sandwiches. Very delicious so far. I got some of the biggest ones out of the way. This one's giant itself. I really love this bread. It's like so soft, and this perfect crunch on it. And if you look, it's like, it's like flaky. Like these little flaky, crusty bits are awesome. It just, it's honestly amazingly delicious. Ooh, this is, this is huge though, guys. Like the gentleman here was saying they can barely finish one. I can see why, I don't know, like that is, feed a family with that thing. All right, this is the triple dog dairy. It is massive, like they're not, I don't even know. So triple cheese, chicken, and pastrami. Big bite. Good flavor though. Wow. The pastrami and chicken really go. I'd say that pastrami adds a beautiful cured flavor on there though. I really like it. Whew. And the rich fried chicken. I just poured a bunch of that sriracha on it. That just has some heat. But a really nice, like, kind of a smoked pepper, serrano flavor. But it has some kick. Thank you. No shortage of food, everybody, that's for sure. How are we doing for time? 14 minutes down. Whew. A lot of food. Big sandwiches. Really good, though. Again, I'm, I'm super impressed. One by the bread. They, like, they like break, bake the bread here, like, every 20 minutes or so. So it's super fresh. Like I said, cooked perfectly, that nice crust. Super impressed with all these flavors I'm getting too. Like, super impressed. Who would have known Yuba? Yuba, is that you pronounce it? Yuba City? Who would have known Yuba City? Absolutely, who would have thought Yuba City would have such good sandwiches? So now this is Neapolitan. This is one of the owner's favorites. This one is uh, basically more like a sandwich. Excuse me. We got eggs, turkey. Uh, excuse me, pastrami roast beef. Mm. That was a good bite of pickles and whatever I had, so I was give this one a shot. Mmm. Oh yeah. I like it. It's warmed up. Those rich cured flavors. You get that like little bites of salami and everything. Woo! I'm filling up, but this is definitely a good one. Very. It's funny to have like a very different contrast to those burgers. Those burgers are awesome, and this one's so like spicy and stuff in a good way. I know sort of got some uh, boss sauce on them. I'm gonna throw some boss sauce on them. Boss sauce is really nice. It's like garlicky, little, little spicy. Lots of flavor.
These are filling sandwiches, though. Yeah, they're they're full. Ooh. It is really good. I'm super impressed. But you don't need to eat six of these in one sitting. I'll tell you that much. You probably don't even need to eat one of these in a sitting. Like you could art, like especially like these massive ones, man. You could share that with two people and be fully satisfied. So you're getting a honestly a super good value. Like legit, crazy guys. But uh, whew, let's keep on, let's keep getting this done. And then we have dessert right here: peanut butter, honey on a burger. Shout out uh, peanut butter on a burger. It's really good. Let me know down below if you ever had it because it's kind of unique. But <sighs> excuse me, comments and chef. Might as well do some cleanup here. Thank you. Yo. What'd you say? If this is the appetizer, I don't know who's eating. This is a lot of food, guys. Crazy big sandwiches. All right, guys, but I think we're about 20 minutes. We are down to the one. Let's get her done. That kind of rides. All right, guys, peanut butter and honey. Wow. And they put a lot of peanut butter on this. Mm -hmm. Crunchy peanut butter. It has some milk or something. There you go, guys. Melty peanut butter on a burger. They also put a lot of honey on this. So, I'm excited to try that combo. So let's give this a shot. I'll put it this way, you can see the top of the bread. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Guys. Wow. That sweet peanut butter, that salty, like, fire, like, with the grill flavoring beef, man. Sweet and savory, and it totally changed the like the flavor of the beef and burger. Wow, very delicious. Completely different burger experience. There's also fried onions on here. Is that bacon? All the sensory experiences, sweet, salty. You mommy. That was a nice bite. I had a big glob of peanut butter. Give me that salty, like the nice salt on the beef. Great flavor. Woo! Just no shortage of food. Last bite, everybody. Yeah. Let's go. And we are finished. Woo. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you so much, everybody. Woo. Appreciate it. Thank you. Everyone, so we are about 24 and a half minutes, 24, 35, something like that. I just got to say, wow. I was super, 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 super impressed by all the different flavors. I literally feel like I almost ate at like a variety of different restaurants here just with how different the experience was but it was all awesome and huge these are big <clears throat> starting with that pineapple express i think that was probably one of my favorites guys that was absolutely delicious the sweetness of the pineapple was like 
so saucy. And then with that beautiful like Dutch, Dutch, Dutch crunch, Dutch crunch crust. Guys, we've never had a Dutch crunch bread. Try saying that like 50,000 times. Dutch crunch crunch is what I'm trying to say. It was so good. Again, never had anything like that. Apparently it's a Bay Area thing. Just like beautiful kind of like white bread on the inside. Just that flaky crust on the outside was awesome. And it was just like, it wasn't hard to eat. It was just honestly delicious. So shoved all the breads. Um, everything was really good. Going into kind of these more like, I would call them more like traditional slash savory burgers with the extra pork and the bacon. Man, it was just like a good hearty burger. One thing I've really noticed is the like the taste of the beef was really, really good all throughout. Just like, a, I think it's just like a salt pepper on it, but you really taste that, like, just that nice beef flavors. You also get the awesome taste of the grill. Cooking beef over fire is really a nice treat. Um, this last one, guys, the uh, one with the peanut butter was really good as well, but a totally different experience. It was almost like dessert, sweet, savory. Honestly, this is probably what I do. I come here with an individual, order like one of these, and then get this for dessert. So like a half and a half. It was really good, but yeah, sweet, savory, peanut buttery, very delicious. Um, so that would you get meal for free, which is pretty cool. Um, this was a lot of food, but I really, really enjoyed it. Um, huge thanks to everybody who came on out today. I really appreciate you guys. Also a huge thanks to uh, AJ and the staff. And yes, but yeah, thank you. And what I appreciate is this place is called AJ's Sandwiches, and there's actually a guy named AJ here, you know what I mean? So it's not like you're going into Mike's blah, 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 and there's not even a Mike that lives there, you know, works or lives there. there. Um, but that, everybody, like I said, huge thanks to everybody who came on out. Delicious food. I definitely recommend stop on by or in the Yuba City or Marysville area. Um, again, Sacramento area, just a little bit north. And uh, that was awesome. Like I said, my first time up here, cool spot, great sandwiches. And uh, I definitely recommend. So that everyone, until next time, check out JoelEats.com, grab yourself some merch, and of course, until next time, say happy on the hunger, happy eating, and have a lovely day. Thank you. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.